Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick deck tech on one of the decks I like to play. It's Blue Green Delver. It's kind of like Blue Black Delver, except it, instead of black, it you know it has green. Instead of all the kill spells, it has pump spells. So, um, I like this build. I I wanted to make a blue green deck, but I didn't want it infect or turbo fog or really anything that's currently established and I was looking around and I seen that um that there was really good pump spells and it really just meshed in well with the current blue portion of blue black delver because we have hooting mandrels which is kind of like our angler uh well let me just go ahead and run down the deck a bit uh, we have six forests six islands and then we have six uh, basic land fetches. So we run the land fetches instead of the uh, lands that come in tapped, that uh, tap for blue or green. And the reason we run the fetches is because they work really well with Brainstorm. As I'm sure you are already aware, if you use Brainstorm, you get to put two cards on top of your deck and then um, crack your fetch land and that will shuffle away the bad cards in your deck, or in your hand. But something else that the fetch lands do that the the gain lands don't, the ones that you gain one life off of, is that it puts a card in your discard pile. Because when you sacrifice the Terramorphic Expanse, you know, you get your island or your forest, and then you also get fuel for delve. So it works well with Hooting Mandrels. Um, also, on your opponent's turn, you can crack uh, one of your fetch lands to turn on Groundswell for uh, like a really good block, say uh, against an Olamog's Crusher or something of that nature, because it triggers landfall. Um, so I really I decided to go with the uh, six fetch lands instead of the gain lands for those reasons. I just feel like they go into the deck better. Um, also, with uh, Brainstorm, you can use this at your upkeep. So, let's say turn one, you tap out for Delver. You can st put a stop at your upkeep, use Brainstorm at instant speed, and put an instant or sorcery at the top of your deck and flip your Delver. Two other cards, a Mental Note... So one mana instant. Put two cards from your library into your graveyard and draw a card. Mental Note and Thought Scour are essentially the same thing. Thought Scour, we get to target our opponent if we want, but we never really will. We'll always target ourselves. These cards replace themselves, but they also put items in the graveyard for our Hooting Mandrels to work off of. So let's say turn one you got Terramorphic Expanse or Evolving Wilds, and then turn two maybe a Mental Note or something. You're you're well on your way to casting Hooting Mandrels very quickly. I can usually get it off maybe like turn three or so, depending on you know how your hand looks, things like that. We also have Ponder and Preordain, uh, mostly just for the cantrips. Um, they're they're pretty much self-explanatory those cards. And our pump package is four giant growths. These are the giant growths are the cheapest pump spell with the most uh, numbers, right? So it's a one mana for plus three, plus three. It doesn't get any bigger than that for a one mana. Um, I have considered taking these out for cards like mutagenic growth. For example, I'm still on the edge. I don't know. Like, I've always had good experiences with giant growth. I've always had the mana for it, and it's always been enough to do what I need to do. Like, for example, a flipped Delver with giant growth, that's five damage. That's a quarter of our opponent's health. And you can usually easily cast that on, like, turn two or three. Uh, but I'm still on the fence with these. 
I also have Groundswell. This is a one mana instant, plus two, plus two, but if you had a land enter the battlefield this turn, then it gets plus four, plus four. So that's where I mean they work well with my fetch lands, because I can crack them on my opponent's turn, play Groundswell, and block if I need to. Another pump spell is Vines of Asswood. It's one mana, target creature gains hexproof, or two mana, target creature gets hexproof, and plus four, plus four. I only have three of them. Um, I do have one in the sideboard, but we'll get back to that later. I only have three because I don't want to have my hand flooded with these guys, because sometimes it can be hard to get double green. Uh, in playtesting, I found that three is a really good number, because I don't get too much. Because usually I only want maybe one, two at most. And Ogre Bolas, of course, two mana, one, three. Look at the top three cards, get an instant or a sorcery. We have many instances or sorceries. Sometimes it whiffs. Sometimes I don't get any at all, but usually when that happens, I'm still kind of happy about it because then those are usually three dead draws I would have had, like maybe three lands that I don't need or something of that nature. And one of our big beaters, the Hootie Mandrels, it's a 4-4. Most of the time, you're going to be casting this for one mana because it has Delve, and you can exile cards in your graveyard to lower the cost for these guys. They have Trample, and like I said, most of the time you're just going to be casting them for one mana. The Hootie Mandrels and the Delver is essentially our win condition. So moving on to the sideboard, we got two Dispel, two Negate, one Vines, two Feed the Clan. These work well with Hooting Mandrels, and also, since I have so many pump spells, I can usually get a creature with at least four power. Uh, we have three Pulse of Marasa. These are pretty good because I only have uh, seven true win conditions. So it's good to be able to get my creatures back when I'm playing against a removal heavy deck. Two Tranquility for Destroy All Enchantments, and three Curse of Chains. This is pretty much just our creature control package. Things like uh, Olamox Crusher, Grimag Angler, items like that. Overall, in my playtesting, this deck seems pretty good. Uh, I think it still needs a bit of tuning. Maybe a few cards replaced with some things. Um, if you have any ideas on how I can make this deck a bit better, I, let me know. I think this deck really has potential. Uh, I, like I said, I don't think it's quite there, but I think it's really, really close. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.